Hey Virgo, welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you in terms of love and romance. These messages are going to be general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So this reading is intended for Virgo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. I'll give the cards a shuffle and I'll pull out a few cards and interpret the messages for you. And to crown the reading, we'll also be pulling out some cards from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. <coughs> oh wow. So what does Virgo need to know? Okay, you've got the Ace. Okay, you've got the Ace of Swords, the Seven, and the Eight of Wands. Wow, okay. Two consecutive numbers from the same element. That's That doesn't happen very often. Something's going on here, Virgo. Something is going on here. Um, with the... I get this defiant kind of energy in your reading. So with the Ace of Swords, and especially with the Seven of Wands, and then the Eight of Wands. Okay, some of you I feel like... I'm picking up this resistance. I don't know if you're the one that's putting up this resistance or if there's a close connecting energy that's resisting something here. That they're putting up resistance. They're putting barriers. They're putting uh, blockages. Um, someone here, I feel like, is trying to... It's like they're really trying to fight for something or they're really trying to resist um, some changes or resist something here. And it's... The only thing that it's doing is setting this person back. So whether it's you or a connecting energy... They have to understand that they're at a point of advantage, okay? Notice how the figure here on the Eight of Wands, he's, he, um, he stands at a point of advantage because it's from, you know, that angle that he's able to fight, you know, all these wands off. So you're not trapped. Whoever thinks that they're stuck or they've got no place to go or whoever thinks that, you know, they're not in a strong position, they're wrong because you are or this person is in a strong position. They're in a position to... They need to stop fighting first and foremost because I feel like what they're fighting for is essentially they're doing a disservice to themselves. If there are some changes that are trying to enter your life, it's for the better, okay? If there are people that want to live your life, uh, that want to take an exit for a life, don't fight for them to stay, okay? Because the people that see your worth, they won't need convincing. They won't need to be convinced that they need to stay, Okay, and any changes that are coming to your life are there to help you grow, transform you and evolve you and take you to the next chapter. So if it's you, Virgo, that's doing this resisting and doing that and doing all of this fighting, then you need to put your guard, put your weapons down. Okay, because I feel like essentially what you're fighting is it's like a war. You're at war with yourself. Okay, and you won't win. It's a losing battle because everything that I feel like you're you're trying to fight off all this good that's coming to you. And it's just this. It's just this really, it's this energy of resistance. I feel like there's abundance that wants to enter your life, but you're scared of the unfamiliar. And I get it, change can be unfamiliar and scary, but I feel like what's on the other side of unfamiliarity and fear is something truly abundant and prosperous and exciting. So stop trying to resist any changes. The universe wants to bring in someone new. The universe wants to you know, bring you a new chapter. The universe wants to elevate you to, you know, the next level here. So let it, let it allow you to grow and transform you here, okay? So drop, uh, put down your weapons here. The Ace of Swords here, I feel like there either needs to be some sort of communication um, or that there needs to be like a breakthrough. It could be like you need someone here needs to break down the barriers. You might, there's someone here who I feel like you're connected to and I feel like you're not really getting through to them or this person isn't really getting through to, to, to you. And I feel like what really needs to happen is break down the, the barriers in communication. So you need to communicate, either you need to communicate a little bit more openly and honestly with this person. Let them know what's bugging you. Let them know how you feel. Let them know what's on your mind. Let them know what's frustrating you. Like hold them accountable for what they're doing. Okay. And hold yourself accountable as well. Because the Ace of Swords is communication with such clarity. So you need to communicate a little bit more clearly with a connecting energy. Or this person needs to communicate clearly with you. Because if not, I just feel like you're going to, you know, it's just this revolving door. You're going to go around in circles here. I'm also seeing that it's very likely there may be some incoming communication. And I feel like someone connects with you out of the blue. It could be a past energy, Virgo. It could be a fling that you're far flung. It could be someone that has fallen off your radar. It could be like an ex. It might have been someone who ghosted you. But I feel like someone all of a sudden just reaches out 
out of the blue and they're coming in with a very assertive kind of energy i feel like this person really wants to connect with you and i feel like there's some success that comes from it so if it's an ex there may be reconciliation if it's a person who ghosted you you might have a chance to you know do things all over again if it's a past energy um, you might have a new chance like a new encounter with this person i feel like there's some i'm seeing i like this because there's mental clarity i feel like this person is a little bit more clear with their intentions and with what it is they want hence the energy in which they're connecting with the eight of wands there's something that's happening for you really quickly i do feel like there's some really exciting changes that are coming into your life that are going to affect your love life for some of you i feel like um there is, and I know this is probably, it doesn't sound all that exciting, but I feel like for some of you, there is going to be endings, okay, in relationships. And that's purely because I feel like some of you are, you've outgrown certain relationships, you've outgrown certain people. And some of you, you're still of the mentality that, that you're, you have to shrink yourself in order to fit this relationship or to fit this connection. Why? Why do that, Virgo, when you have simply outgrew this person or simply outgrew this connection a long time ago? So there's going to be a lot of people entering your life, I feel. So and I, I'm picking up especially for those of you that are like online, if you're really active online, I feel like you're really going to be matching with a lot of people, especially if you're on dating apps or if you're um really active on social media i see you connecting with a lot of people you're connecting with a lot of like-minded people there's going to be an opportunity to form new connections um some may go places some connections may go places others might not go very far but nevertheless it's, it feels very exciting it feels very fast paced there's a lot of forward momentum here i'm also seeing forward momentum like with a relationship of progression for those of you that have been stuck a little bit um if you feel like you know your relationship hasn't been going places or if you feel like you have been stagnated i see a breakthrough okay you've got the ace of swords and the ace of cups there's a breakthrough in there's a mental breakthrough and there's an emotional breakthrough as well okay and that's great because i feel like this is all happening for you and this is all going to affect you in a very big way um the eight of wands is also i feel like for some of you you're going to be especially those single and watching you're going to be meeting someone very new and for a lot of you it is someone online Okay, or if it's not online, I'm seeing that you first connect with this person via digital communication. Like it could be, it's very likely it could be a past energy, but this person comes back really renewed. So even though if it's a past energy, it feels new. It feels like this person has changed or it just feels like they've done some growing, some evolving. It feels really new to me, guys. The Ace of Cups, some of you I feel like need to be reminded that you need to first feel your chalice before you go ahead and start feeling anyone else's chalice, okay? Because some of you, I feel like, are really giving too much of yourself away to people who do not appreciate it. So I feel like you're filling up other people's chalices so much so that it's leaving you dry, okay? So make sure that, you know, the relationships that you invest in, that you put in, make sure they give back just as much. Because some of you, I feel like you're just depleting yourself of emotional energy. You're loving all the wrong people or you're loving people who don't love you back in return. You're loving people who are not really deserving of your love. Um, so some of you, I feel like you need to take better care of yourself and build a better relationship with yourself. Um, invest in yourself more, okay? So that you then can find and attract people who are going to invest in you just as equally, okay? So fill your chalice before you start going overflowing anyone else's. Um, the King of Pentacles, okay, great. This is great because I do feel like there's opportunity for something very secure something very stable something very committed here in the near future so someone that you might connect with this past energy here or someone you might connect with online i do feel like there'll be an opportunity to build something very solid with this person it may become a like a long-term relationship um, this is someone whom you might even go into business with i'm, I'm picking a partnership for some of you you might get something started you could even be building something again online keeps coming up like a platform or a channel of some sort for some of you i'm also seeing an age difference here not not a big one but i did want to point out the age difference i feel like this person is a little bit older or they're coming up as really mature here so the angel answers uh <clears throat> are coming up with abundance here okay i do feel like you've got an abundance of i'm picking up breakthroughs for you breakthroughs and blessings here virgo coming up okay so for those of you who feel like you've been stuck get ready to get unstuck for those of you that feel like you know you've been stagnated get ready for momentum for progression if you felt like there hasn't been any communication get ready for lots of it so there's a lot of abundance coming in 
choose a new direction okay some of you the reason why you feel stuck is because you're sort of you've hit a dead end and i've mentioned this earlier but some of you i feel like you need to reconsider where you're going okay or you need to reconsider who it is you're taking you know you're taking this journey with because some people you need to leave behind because they can only go so far so you need to choose a new direction okay um focus where it is that you want to go so you can you know you can take yourself there choose a new direction if you feel like that's not your path if you feel like you know um you've hit a dead end you can always reroute right <clears throat> peaceful resolution i do see for a lot of you virgos here a peaceful resolution with the past energy and i picked this up earlier in your spread i feel like it's someone who's going to come back the communication has improved greatly you'll find that this person is a lot more open and you'll find that the two of you will communicate a lot more clearly which is great because we're actually going to get breakthroughs here all right virgos and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned bye for now